to show you guys how to create a simple YouTube intro like the one that you guys just saw at the beginning of this video. So the first thing you're going to want to do is download Canva. I have the desktop version. And then you're going to go into the search bar and put in YouTube channel art. And then click on YouTube banner. I already had it up, which is why it's already pulled up. And then you're going to click on create a blank YouTube banner. So this is the size that you're going to need for your intro. So, so this intro is going to be two different pages. So we're going to start with the very first page, as you guys saw. Um, I know what color I want um, for my intro, so choose whatever color you want. This is the color I need, so I'm just going to go ahead and put the color there. And then you're going to start adding in your text. So the first thing you're going to want to do is click on add a heading and put in your YouTube name. And then we're going to change the font to Livic Bold. And you want these to be all uppercase. And you want to make sure that this is in the middle. And then you can change the color of this as well. I want mine to be um, like a brown color. So we're just going to make it. Okay. So that is the first one. And then you're going to add. Um, a, then you're going to go ahead and duplicate this. But we're going to change the font of this one. And for this, I like to use the font Britain. And this one does not have to be all uppercase. Well, for mine, you can use uppercase if you want. I'm going to only uppercase the last three letters for mine. And then we're going to make this a lot bigger. And we're going to change the color of this one. We're going to make this like a light brown. Like this to be fine. I like to put mine um, over the background. This has to be a little bit bigger. And you just kind of play with it till you get it to be um, the size you want. But this, I think this looks good for me. Um, yeah, so then we're going to take this and we're going to use effects and we're going to make this neon just so it pops a little bit more. So that is going to pretty much be your base. Um, we might need to move this up a little bit more. Okay, so then we're going to go over to elements over here and put in corner. You're going to take this corner and push it in the corner. About right here, we're going to make this white and then we're going to duplicate this. and put this in each one of the corners and then just flip it around so that it goes in the corner easily. Make sure they're um, 90 degrees. Make sure they all um, level with each other. Make this one um, 90 degrees. And make sure they all level. Well, this one's supposed to be 180 degrees. And then again, you're just going to make sure. Everything levels out and everything is in the same spot all around. So that is the base. And then we're going to go and back to elements and put in record. And I'm going to choose this one right here, the animated one. And we're going to make it much smaller. 
until it fits in the corner perfectly. Mm -hmm. That should be good. Right there. Okay, so we may need to move this up a little bit more so that we can fit the, um, the subscribe button. And then you're going to go ahead and say, go back to elements and search for a subscribe. Um, you can choose literally anyone you want. I'm going to choose one with the notification bell on it. This one right here. I do have Canva Pro, by the way. So if you do not plan on paying for Canva Pro, you're going to have to use the um, free subscribe button. But I do have Canva, Canva Pro, which is only $12.99 a month, I believe. And we're going to go ahead and stick this in the middle. Make sure it lines up and it's in the middle of everything. And then we're also going to find an arrow. And we just want um, an animated arrow. Because we're going to print animated. An animated arrow so that it um, points to the subscribe button. So, I'm going to use this one right here. Of course, we're going to make it much smaller in size, and we're probably going to have to flip it so that it um, is pointing towards our subscribe button. And then the last thing you want to do, if you want, you can leave it like this since it's already animated. Or you can animate it. And I'm going to just put a simple animation on here since this is already an animated page. So this is going to be the first page of your, um, of your intro. So then we're going to go down here and we're going to add a page. It's going to make it the page the same color. So for mine, um, I am going with the brown theme. So the first thing you want to, you're going to want to do is take away the um, background color. So I just deleted the background and you're going to want to get, um, I'm going to use a photo of my, um, this is from my Instagram and I'm going to blow it up so that it fits the whole thing. And whatever images you want to be shown here. So we're just going to blow it up so it fits the whole page. Okay, and then the next thing you want to do is you want to go to back to elements and you're going to search for iPhone. Um, you're going to pick any one. I'm going to go ahead and choose this one. I know right now it looks kind of confusing to look at, but we are going to fix it. And you get, so for this, you're going to want to tilt it a little bit and then blow it up a little bit bigger because this is going to hold your um, Instagram. So what I did is I went to Instagram on my phone and I screen recorded me just like scrolling through my own Instagram. And so I'm going to go ahead and take that video and um, upload it to Canva. And... So pretty much I am going to fit this video inside of the iPhone. And we're just going to blow it up so that it fits inside of the iPhone perfectly. Just want to make sure it fits seamlessly. And then once you get it to fit perfectly, um, you're going to want to go to position and then send it backwards. So the outside of the iPhone is in front of it and it looks like it's the actual iPhone um, on the screen. So the next thing you want to do, you want to go ahead and add another um, text. Go to add a heading and here we're going to put connect with me. This page is going to be for your social media. And so for this, I like to use the font London, just a big bold font, and I'm going to put this right here. Again, we're going to um, do the background so that you can see everything perfectly. I'm going to change this color to white, 
and then put an effect on it. I'm just going to use the echo effect and make sure this is centered. And that's going to go right there. So the next thing you're going to want to do is go back to elements and you're going to click on, I mean, you're going to search circle. You're going to need, um, I'm just going to put my Instagram and my TikTok here, but here is going to where you're going to put any of your social medias. And I'm going to put um, a circle here. And I'm also going to duplicate it because I'm putting my Instagram and my TikTok. So you just want going to want to duplicate this. And then you're going to go back to elements and search tab. And you're going to want to take this one here. It's pink. You're going to want to line it up with the circle. Because here is where your social media handle is going to go. You're going to press on position, send it backwards. And then you're going to use some text. Add a heading and add your social media handles. This I'm also going to use Livic Bold like I did earlier, just to keep the same fonts going. And then we're going to have to resize this so that it fits right in this tab. And here you can use any color you want for the tab. I'm going to change my tab to um, a more of a brown color so that it matches my theme. And then this is going to be black so that it pops as well. And we're just going to do the same exact thing for my TikTok. And in the circle, you want to add the Instagram logo. So you're going to search Instagram and grab anyone. I'm going to go ahead and grab this one. Um, make sure it's the right size. And then we're going to pop it in the circle. I want to be a little bit bigger. And I'm going to change that to white so that you can see it a bit better. We're going to do the same thing for my TikTok. I'm going to grab this photo. This one is a pro feature as well, but there are um, some free options. I'm going to size this again and change it to white. And I'm just going to make a copy of this and put it in the same place as my other one. Send it backwards so that it's behind everything. Make a copy of this and add your TikTok handle wherever it is. And this, now we're going to go back to elements so that we can see what we just made. And we're going to go to square. Use this square, and what you want to do here is you're going to change the color to whatever color you want. Again, I'm using this topi, this brown theme, so I'm going to change it to this brown, and I'm going to make it much bigger than the screen. Much bigger, and then we're going to send it backwards, position backwards so that it is behind all the stuff that you just put on the screen until it can't go back anymore and now we're going to go here to the three dots and we're going to change the transparency down to about 65 so that you can still kind of see but you still have um, the brown and the last step for this is you're going to go ahead and go to animate click anyone so we go to animate and we're going to go to page animations and I'm just going to use um, fun for this one. I'm going to use fun. So now we have both pages that we need for our intro. And the last step is to export it. So you're going to come here to, let me just show you guys what it looks like when it's all said and done. So this is what it looks like. And there is your YouTube intro. 
So to save this and to put it in your intro, I edit it. I I personally edit on iMovie. So I go to share up here in the corner. And you're gonna download this as an MP4 file. All pages, and then you're just gonna download it. So I edit in iMovie, so when I am about to edit a YouTube video, I go, go ahead and take this MP4 and I put it at the beginning of all of my videos. If you want to add music, I get most of my music from SoundCloud, and I just attach the music to iMovie as well. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys that as well as soon as this, as soon as this finishes downloading. It's downloading, you're going to want to open up iMovie or whatever you use to edit. Like I said, I use iMovie. so. Um, I'm going to go ahead and input the intro that I just created and pull it into my iMovie. This is going to be um, the video. This is So if I was about to upload or start editing a new video, this is what I would do. I would pull my intro into the video. So now here is my intro. And I would just put this at the beginning of all of my videos before I start pulling in the actual clips. Any audio that you find, I would just add it to the beginning of all of my videos and it will be the soundtrack that goes over my um, intro. So I hope this was helpful to anybody who was trying to learn how to create their own YouTube intro and didn't want to pay hundreds of dollars to someone else and just wanted something simple. I hope this helped you. Let me know down in the comments if this helped you create your own intro. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope this video did help somebody and I will see you guys in my next video.